Christmas Hall and I'm the head of the English department. There's no doubt that last year was one of the most challenging years faced by all English and maths teachers right across the country. No doubt you'll have seen in the media that GCSEs are now being graded quite differently. You might have seen shock reports about how much harder and how much more content there is to learn. Firstly, I want to reassure you. Yes, there has been dramatic changes in the GCFC, but your son and daughter has been being prepared for these changes from when they started in Year 7, way back in QC3. One of the most dramatic changes to the GCFC, and probably what makes it the most challenging, is the eradication of coursework and controlled assessment. All English qualifications are now assessed through a 100% examination. All Year 11 students will study separate qualifications in English language and English literature. English language is split into three components. Component one is the English literature reading and the prose writing. This part of the exam is worth 40% of the overall GCSE. Component two is the 19th and 21st century reading and the transactional and persuasive writing. This is worth 60% of the overall GCSE. Component three is the test of spoken language this is tested through an oral exam, but it's unweighted and doesn't contribute to an overall GCSE grade. Here are some of the English team to tell you a little bit more about it. Hi, I'm Miss Darling and my favourite component to teach is component one, which is the creative prose writing. And that is, for any of you who are unfamiliar, the descriptive and narrative writing unit. Um, I love teaching this module because it allows pupils to be extremely creative and it gives them ownership for their own piece of writing. It allows students to create their own plot and structure and create their own characters as well. Um, so it's accessible for everyone and the students really enjoy it. And historically we've taken students to Tynemouth Beach, we've gone to Durham Christmas Market and we've gone to Edinburgh Zoo for the day as well. Um, the reason for doing this is it, it just really allows students to bring their narratives to life because it gives them those, you know, those real life experiences that some students don't have. Um, so at Kenton we're particularly passionate and determined to give students those experiences to make their writing um, you know, as imaginative and as realistic as it can be. Hi, I'm Miss Hare. Um, last year I really enjoyed teaching transactional writing to my class. This was where we drew on real life experiences like for instance bad holidays that people had had or going to restaurants and we wrote letters and reviews and articles and things around that. I find it really helpful to get pupils to draw on their own experiences and to kind of bounce ideas around the class and I find that this makes pieces of writing more realistic and essentially they do better. English literature is split into two components. Component one is Shakespeare and poetry. Year 11 will already be familiar with Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet and will already have studied a number of the poems from the exam anthology. This component is worth 40% of the final GCSE and tested in a two hour examination. Component two is the post 1914 drama, the 19th century prose and unseen poetry. In this component, students study Blood Brothers by Willie Russell and the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and are asked to analyse two poems that they won't have seen before. This component is worth 60% of the final examination. Some of the changes made to the English Literature examination are what makes it so challenging. All English Literature examinations in Year 11 are what's called closed books, which means they're not permitted to take the text into the exam. To be successful, you will need to know these texts inside out and learn quotations from them too. Here are some of the English team to tell you a little bit more about it. My name is Mr Sanderson. I think the part of the course that I enjoy teaching most is Shakespeare, uh, Naomi, Romeo and Juliet. I think it's one of the parts of the course that the students enjoy most as well. Um, students often find Shakespeare quite difficult because the language is 400 years old, so it's quite difficult for them to access. But I think there's themes in Shakespeare, the stories he talks about, the characters, uh, they're still very relevant, so they're very human. So students find that, you know, they can relate to that and ultimately find it very rewarding because of the challenge initially. I think the, it's really satisfying to them to get into the text, to enjoy it. We have found that teaching Blood Brothers as a, a literature topic really exciting um, as the play is so engaging. It's got an aspect of humour, it's got songs, it's got everything that the students can really enjoy to get the most out of the topic. Um, we find that 
with the uh, with the aspects of the plot and the characters that the students can really empathise with and that really comes across in the way that they can analyse it and pick it apart and really thrive on that topic. We find as a department that the best bit is the songs because you can really have fun with analysing the lyrics and it's a much easier way of learning quotes as well which will help them in their year 11 exam. And we find as well that because the text has got so much going on and it's so exciting that the children just really look forward to it, forward to it and I think that really shows in the progress that they're making. I'd like to talk a little bit about revision and intervention strategies that we have here in the English department at Kenton School. Firstly, we have a team of intervention SARs. Intervention takes place in a variety of ways. Um, firstly, one-to-one, -one, where um, one of our two intervention SARs may take a pupil out and do some intensive work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, secondly, small group work, where they may work on a particular topic or subject that they're struggling with within a small group setting with some of their peers. And thirdly, within the whole class. So you may find that we have intervention SARs within the class setting, helping and supporting alongside the teacher. Hi, my name is Miss Brannigan. My role as English Key Stage 4 English Intervention SAR involves working with students on a one-to-one -one basis or in small groups. I work closely with the class teacher in order to identify pupils who need a little bit of extra support or to challenge and stretch the most able students we have here at Kenton. Intervention involves working on the key skills that are needed in order to succeed in the exam and my aim is to work with as many students as I can so I look forward to meeting all of you if I haven't already. Outside of English, um, we will also be running intervention sessions um, which normally happen for English on a Monday. Um, these will be with class teachers and will focus on a range of different topics to help pupils prepare for the exam. There's also things that you can be doing at home to support your child. There's a lot of revision guides available for the literature texts. Um, there's also been an update to the GCSE Bite Size um, website recently. Um, the exam board that we study is Educas um, and there's a lot of resources um, on here to help support your child. Our aim in the English department is to create resilient and independent learners who are confident in their own abilities in English. We work tirelessly to ensure that all students achieve their full potential. We couldn't be more proud of the success of last year's Year 11, but we are so excited about what you are going to achieve this year.